Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a room transformation. I know what you're probably thinking. Didn't you literally just do a room transformation like four months ago? Yes, yes I did, and I'm doing another one. There's gonna be links to everything that I show in this video in the description, and there's also gonna be a tour at the end where I say where everything's from. So with all that being said, let's just get started. So I thought I'd show you guys what my room looks like now. Here's the before, here's what we're working with. I'm a perfectionist, so basically my goal for this room is to make it perfect. I thought I did that when I redid my room like four months ago, but I guess not because here we are now. I feel like I've just grown out of this room. First order of business is to take down this wall. Don't hate me. I know a lot of you guys love this wall. Trust me, it wasn't an easy decision because I love it so much, but it's gotta go. Say goodbye to the wall. Rest in peace. Really Okay, that was crazy. Like, look at my floor right now. They're just all stuck together. I made a mistake when I was putting them up and connected them all more to each other than I did actually like to the wall, which actually ended up looking really bad when it was on my wall, which is one of the reasons that I wanted to take it down. But it made it really easy to take off. So I guess that's good. Now the only thing is I have to take all of these apart and take all of like the, um, the stickers off of the back of them just because I don't want them to all stick together when I'm storing them. If you were wondering how I put them up, some of them I used like little rolled up pieces of duct tape. Some of them I just used like plain tape. Some of them I used little like, um, I don't know, mounting like scotch double-sided like tape strip thingies. That was a great description. You can really use anything. Honestly, I feel like I get that question all the time, but yeah, there you go. Now I'm gonna take all these apart. All right, so now that that's all cleaned up, it's time for the fun part, which is putting together my new wall. Here's my inspiration for it. This is kind of what I'm going for. I got these pictures off of Pinterest. So here's some things that I'm gonna be needing for my new wall. Vinyls, these stickers from Wildflower that I've saved from my cases, Polaroids that I printed out from my phone, my YouTube plaque, these pictures from Walgreens that I got off of Pinterest, these same pictures, but in a bigger size from FedEx so that I have some options. By the way, if you wanna know how to print out the pictures from FedEx, I'll leave a little tutorial on the screen. Also, if you'd like to use any of the pictures that I printed out, I actually made a Pinterest board with all of them on it, plus just some inspiration for my new room in general so that you guys can do it too if you want. And that's about it, let's get started. Okay, so now what I need to do is arrange all of the pictures, like how I would want it to go up on my wall. I definitely need to do it on the ground first before I actually put it on the wall. I have like no clue how I'm gonna do this and it's kind of stressing me out. I know I'm gonna hang everything up with this blue putty that I got from Amazon. It was like $3. I'll find the link and put it down below. I don't even know where to start. This is gonna be kind of stressful, but I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, so it is actually several hours later. This took a lot longer than I thought. I just really wanted to make sure that I took my time on this one. I think it's finally done, so I'll show you guys. So here it is all laid out. You guys already saw everything I used to make this. Also, these flowers that you're seeing are also a part of the FedEx posters that I printed out. I just cut them out. And then there's a few blank spots. That is because there's supposed to be Polaroids that go here, but this printer that I bought, it's been giving me so many problems and it'll only print like one picture at a time and it'll say like that I need to charge it. even though. I've charged it like overnight. So I'm basically just waiting on that to print out more Polaroids. But yeah, other than that, that's what it looks like. And then I know this is kind of extra, but I put this on my wall with tape just as kind of like a stencil to see where to put the pictures. I measured my wall and made sure that it was like in the center of this part right here. This isn't like level or anything, but I'll make sure the pictures are. So I'm gonna use the measure app on the iPhone and then go to level and then basically just make sure everything is perfect. So yeah, now everything is all ready to be put up on the wall. Hey guys. 
guys so it is the next morning it ended up taking like all day yesterday to do this wall but after several hours I finally finished it so I'm gonna show you guys I think it looks so good oh by the way broke two of my nails yesterday trying to open my Polaroid printer and put more film in there so that's cool so here's the wall this is the finished collage I am actually so happy with it I was really stressing about it because I'm just a perfectionist and I knew that if it wasn't perfect I would literally just take it all down and do it again and I didn't want to have to do that so today what I'm gonna do is build a shelf that's gonna go over here and then I want to put up some vines uh, in this corner right here because this just looks so blank so there's gonna be stuff filling up the space I did not do my hair good does anyone else struggle with doing like this hairstyle like what is that I'm just gonna go with the scrunchie because I can't seem to get that hairstyle right I have no idea how hard this is gonna be. It's like this little ladder shelf. This is what it looks like. Oh my god, my nail. So sad. But yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. Here's all the pieces. I'm gonna start building it. like it was actually super easy to build I got this off of Amazon for I think like $40 I think that's good right there but it says to like drill it like to the wall I just don't want to put a hole in the wall right there that really scares me so I think what I'm gonna do is put like a ton of that blue putty stuff on the back of it oh my gosh also if you are like hanging any sort of posters on your wall or like anything like that go buy this stuff right now it is amazing it came with like five of these strips for like three dollars and I only used one and a half for this entire wall highly recommend I wish I would have done that with my wall when I did the huge collage last time because it would have looked so much better but oh well I just put the blue putty on there and it's stuck on pretty good that way I don't have to drill a hole into my wall so yeah I'm gonna get to decorating So update. I have three shelves done, but I kind of just like don't know what to do from here. My mom might come home for lunch in a little bit from work, so I might ask her if she has any ideas for the bottom two shelves. I'll show you what I have so far. So on the top shelf right here, I have all of my crystals. On this shelf, I have this little heart dish that I think I might put some rings in. I have this light. Please go buy this right now. I got it from Five Below. This is what the box looks like. And basically you connect it to your phone. I'll show you. So you can just choose what color it is. And they're literally all so pretty. So I have it on this like yellowish color right now. Literally $5. Go buy it. All you need is three AAA batteries. I won't go too much into detail because I'm going to show you guys everything in the tour anyways and say where everything's from. But yeah, this is what I have so far. Oh shoot. I just realized I forgot to take the little stickers off of the shelves. I'll make sure to do that. So... Oh I my set up this gosh, shelf. that's so cute. I know, right? Oh, I love it. It was easy, right? Uh-huh, it was super easy. Oh. So, I don't know what to do with these two shelves. Mm -hmm. What about some books? What about... I tried it and it just didn't look good. I, I have them right here. Can I see it? Can I do something? Yeah. I don't know. That's that's cute. That's cuter than I had it. Okay, so the shelf is all done. I'm going to show you guys. Again, I won't go too much into detail because I will show you guys that later. I think I'm going to do my vines now. Oh, they smell so bad. They smell like fish food. I think I actually said that in one of my clean and decorate with me videos when I put these vines up. These are actually completely different vines. I got these off of Amazon and these are from Urban Outfitters, but they still smell just as bad. Oh, cool. These ones come with zip ties. I don't know what I would even use the zip ties for, but that's cool, I guess. I use thumbtacks to hang them up. These look very, very similar to the ones that I already have. These ones just come with way more for like the same price. These come with 14 strands and the Urban Outfitters ones come with five I believe. I'm just gonna try to ignore the smell. It's very strong right now. It does go away very quickly I'll say that. Okay so here's all the vines. I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. Like should I make it look just like this side or should I kind of make it do its own thing? I don't know. We'll see. Update. I just want to take a nap so bad. I decided to take some down that were on this corner just to kind of balance out with this corner. I'm also kind of thinking about taking them all down and just completely starting over. I don't really know. But yeah, I'm gonna figure out the vines. I'll just update you guys later. I'm 
find my way to heaven When I awoke, I spit that on a necklace I told God I'll be back in a second Man, it's so hard not to act reckless To whom much is given, much is tested Get arrested, guess until he get the message I feel the pressure under more scrutiny And what I do, act more stupidly Bought more jewelry, more Louis V My mama couldn't get through to me The drama, people suing me I'm on TV talking like it's just you and me now that you guys have seen the finished room, it's time for the tour. Really quickly, I will say that if you want to redo your room, literally do it. This was not expensive at all. I'll kind of walk through the prices too during the tour, but literally this whole thing cost me about $200 and my room looks drastically different in my opinion. That might sound like a lot to you. That might not sound like a lot to you, but for a room transformation, that is not a lot, especially for how different my room looks now. But yeah, I highly recommend doing this. Anyways, let's get into the tour. So first up, when you walk in, I have this little memo board right here. It also just has some thumbtacks on it. I got this from Target. It was like five dollars in the dollar section. If you know me at all, you know that I love the Target dollar section and you're going to be hearing that a lot in this tour. I haven't done anything to it yet, but it is going to be my vision board for 2021. So I'm just going to get some pictures off of Pinterest, maybe print them out from Walgreens or something and put them all over this board. Also do want to mention these are the LED lights I have. The set that I have comes with two strands of like 32 feet or something instead of just one 64 foot strand. But basically what I did was I ran them both up this wall and then split them out going different directions. I'll link these down below. The switch is just right here. Also comes with a remote and an app for your phone. All right, moving on. So if you walk into the room, this is what you see. I have these three tarot tapestries right here. I have the sun, the moon, and the star. I asked for these for Christmas. They're from Amazon and I think they were about $13 for all three. Fun fact, Urban Outfitters sells them individually for like 20 bucks each. So it would have been like 60 bucks if I had gotten it at Urban Outfitters, but found them on Amazon instead. Thank you to my sister and her husband for getting me these for Christmas. And then right here we have my vinyls. I put these up in one of my clean and decorate my room with me videos. These are both from a thrift store. And then right here we have my dresser. I have this little wooden tray thing. I just have this little barrette and these bobby pins from Princess Polly. It came in a pack. This plant, it was a gift. I do not know where it was from. This little Polaroid holder thingy. It's a picture of my best friend. This little candle holder. This is from Five Below and I really like it. It looks like it would be expensive. I feel like Urban Outfitters would sell this for so much more, but it was only $5. And then I have this fake candle in it. should probably turn that on. And then I just have some lip products right here. In case you were wondering, this is the lip combo that I use right here. Just the Too Faced Lip Injections Lip Gloss and the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Natural. And then I just have some Glossier stuff right here. Then I have this candle that my friend Maddie got me for Christmas. And then right here, you're probably wondering what this is. I'm gonna call this my crystal cleanser. So I saw this on TikTok. I made this out of clay. It's very poorly made, as you can see. I uh, did it really quickly. It's more for functionality than cuteness. So you put incense in it and then you put this little little lid on and then the smoke will like go through the wires right here and you can just put your crystal on the wires and it'll cleanse it. So I painted it to look like kind of like a little mushroom, but it doesn't really look like a mushroom, but I don't really care. It's still cute. Then right here, I have this little heart tray. It's from the Target dollar section. It was $1. What I wanted to do with this was paint those little brown hearts on it, like those wildflower cases. If you know what I'm talking about, I'll have a picture on the screen. I just haven't had time to do it yet, but I will probably be doing that. But yeah, it's just right here for now. And then this is from my friend Alexis. She has a jewelry bed Business and she sent me a little like crystal cage necklace that I'll show you guys in a second And she sent me this little note with it and I just thought it was really cute So I wanted to keep it and she even drew this little frog because we have matching frogs If you didn't know she's the reason that I bought this frog Which I will talk about in a minute and then moving on over here. We have this little salt lamp This is from five below. It's not even plugged in because it's very dim It doesn't work very well, but I don't really care because it was five bucks So I don't ever turn it on and then I have this incense burner I got this from my best friend for Christmas and then I have this this little tray basket thingy. Um, this was from the Target dollar section. I showed this in a TikTok that I made and a lot of people were asking about it. The tag said tiered tray, if that helps at all. It was $5, but I could not find it online. By the way, I will be having links to everything that I can possibly find in the description. So if you're wondering where something's from, check the description. And then if it's not there, just comment down below and I will try to get back to you. So on the top, I just have these Glossier uh, lip bombs. I can't remember what they're called. Oh yeah, bomb.com. I just have a bunch of different flavors of it. And then on the bottom, I just have these like clips. These are from Amazon. They are amazing. These are the only clips I found that actually hold long hair really well. Definitely recommend these. It comes with a set of four colors, I think. So I have another one back there. It's just black. And then I have these sunglasses from Princess Polly. And then right here, I have this plant. I think this is from Target. I got this a while ago. Then if you look up here, I have these two posters. So basically I was gonna use these on the wall behind me, but I didn't end up finding a place for them. So now they're right here. And I actually think they look really good. Like I feel like they fill up the space really well. 
well. And then right here I have this plant. So I made this plant hanger thing out of green yarn from Michaels. It was like seven bucks and then the plant itself is fake. It's from Target and I think it was like $20. And then I have a hook up here that was from Lowe's um, that my dad hung up for me. Thank you, dad. But yeah, I decided to use yarn instead of macrame because I just thought it looked more fun and it's colorful and I think it's cheaper. I don't really know, but I like it. Then I have this mirror thing right here. So you can open it and it stores all of your jewelry. There's a ton of storage in here and it's amazing. Behind here, there's like stuff for rings and then this is for all your earrings. I actually ran out of necklace hooks, so I started using this to hang up my necklaces too. By the way, these necklaces are both from Honey by Lex along with this one and this one. Oh yeah, here's the crystal cage necklace that I was telling you guys about. This is what it looks like. It's just amethyst in here. I don't know if these are on the website yet, but they might be by the time this is being uploaded so I will have the link down below. This is from Target. I got a ton of questions about it the last time I did a room makeover. I don't think I've been able to find it online but I'm not 100% sure so check the description just in case but I found this in the store with all of like the dorm stuff and um, like storage stuff. If that helps at all I think it was around $80. And then right here I have this banana light. This is from Amazon. And then right here I have this record player. So before I even get any comments about this I will say I am aware that this is definitely not the best record player for your vinyls. This is just a cheap one from Walmart. I don't actually use it to play my vinyls. I actually use the Bluetooth feature on it and I use it as a speaker for my room. I do just like collecting vinyls. I have Flower Boy on here right now. Maybe later, like once I move out or something, I'll get like a real nice record player that I can actually use my vinyls with. And then underneath, I have a bunch of my vinyls stored and then some books. Then moving on over here to this table. I love this table so much. I use it as a nightstand. It's from Amazon. It was really cheap. And then right here I have this cereal bowl from Target. I found it in the Valentine's Day section and it was $3 I think and I'm just using it to keep some of my nightstand things on. And then right here I actually made this out of clay. I forgot to mention it when I showed the little uh, crystal cleanser thingy but I used the Crayola air dry clay for this. It's like $5 from Target and then I just painted it. It's supposed to look like this flower right here but it's a little goofy looking. Again I made this in a rush so don't judge it. Um, I think it adds character honestly but yeah, I use this as a coaster because I always have drinks on here. And then right here, I have this really, really cute candle. Once again, it's from the dollar section at Target. It was like three bucks. I love the design. I love how it's like green, just so cute. So yeah, that's my nightstand. And then moving on to my bed. I get so many questions about this bed. It's from like a local furniture store. I actually have seen other people that have this exact bed though that don't live in my town. Like I'll just see it on YouTube sometimes. So I know it's not only carried at my local furniture store. So I would just go check your if you really want this bed. I know it comes in other colors too. I would tell you the name of my store if I could, but I do not want to expose my location. And then the white bedding is from Target. This flower pillow right here is from Amazon. And then this little frog right here is from Target and you can find it in the Valentine's Day section. It comes attached to a little swan with some candy on it. So I just had to cut it off. Shout out to Alexis for finding this. She posted it on her Instagram story and I immediately went and bought it because it's just so cute. And then right here, this tapestry is from Amazon. You can't see right Right now but when you move the pillows it says the moon on it it's like a tarot tapestry again that does kind of suck that it covers it up but when the pillows are like laying down when I'm actually about to go to bed you can see it and also these LED lights that I have behind my bed are a lot brighter too I'm not sure if you can tell but I have them over here too so it looks like my bed is glowing and it shows up mainly at nighttime but I still kind of like it and then this blanket I want to say it's from Nordstrom but it was a gift I got it for Christmas I think a couple years ago from my sister and now moving on to one one of my favorite parts of the entire room is this wall. So I'll go through everything really quickly. Up here, I have the fine line vinyl. I got this for my birthday from my best friend. And then I have this poster of a place in Italy. I don't know how to pronounce that. I have this Frank Ocean poster and then these like golf flowers. Then I have my YouTube plaque and some Polaroids that I printed out and a picture of the sunset that I found on Pinterest. I have some of my wildflower stickers that I've collected. This other picture that I found on Pinterest, it's Ariana Grande, just about her new album positions which I love so much. And then the Igor vinyl, and then another Positions poster. And then up here, I just have some more pictures that I printed out from Walgreens, and I have some Polaroids. Down here, I have this La La Land poster because that is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Some more Polaroids and some more flowers. Then I have this little Libra poster right here that I cut into a circle because obviously I am a Libra. Then I have the Flower Boy vinyl and some more wildflower stickers that I got from my cases. Another sunset picture from Pinterest, another Libra picture from Pinterest, and another Amalfi Coast picture. And I didn't even notice this when I was putting 
putting my wall up, but I accidentally used this picture twice because I printed out all the same pictures in two different sizes so that I could have options. And yeah, I accidentally used both sizes, but I honestly think I'm gonna leave it because it's not very noticeable. And then I have two more flowers and some Polaroids. And then I have this um, Knights poster from Pinterest again, more flowers and another positions picture. I have the Daniel Caesar Case Studio One vinyl right here. And then over here I have this green hearts picture and then another wildflower sticker. And that is everything on this wall. I think I mentioned this earlier, but I do have a Pinterest board with all of these pictures on it and just other inspiration that I used for my room. So if you wanna go check that out, my Pinterest will be linked down below. Next up is another one of my favorite parts of my room. I think this literally just makes the whole thing. Before I put this shelf here, this wall just didn't feel complete. This shelf is from Amazon. It was like $40. I think you guys already knew that though. And then on the top row right here, I have all of my crystals. I think I have about 30 now. I literally love them so much. And then hanging off the side, I have this tote bag from Princess Polly. Second shelf, I have this Glossier perfume that smells really good. This little plant from the Target dollar section. This light, it was from Five Below. And then right here, I have this little heart dish. It's from the Target dollar section once again. And then I have just a bunch of rings in there. On the next shelf right here, I have this plant from the Target dollar section, this Glossier uh, body lotion, and then this little box right here. This is from my best friend. I got it for Christmas. And then on this shelf, I have a few books and a plant. I think this was also from Target from the dollar section. Big surprise. And then right here, I have this little teapot. My grandma got this for me for Christmas. And then on the next shelf, I have my tarot cards and my tarot book. And then this little candle snuffer and this altar bell and another plant from Target. I still forgot to take off the letters from when I was building this. Also, the vines that I have are from Target. No, did I just say Target? At this point, I'm just used to saying that something is from Target, but the vines are from Urban Outfitters and from Amazon. Now we have my closet. I'll show you guys the inside of my closet, but keep in mind, it is not clean. It's not the messiest either, but it's just not very organized. I have a few coats up here, pants right here, purses, sweats, my yoga mat, my old keyboard. I have my tripod in here, just some more backpacks and stuff. And then on this side, I have my dirty laundry right here. I do have a laundry basket, but it's in the laundry room right now. So that's why they're just laying there. They are not usually like that. And then I have my like more cropped tops up here. I also have a few longer t-shirts right here. And then I have most of like my long sleeves and sweaters on the bottom right now. And then I just have some shoes on the bottom. Like I said, it's kind of messy right now. So don't judge me. And now moving on to my desk. I love my desk area. So I have this salt lamp. This is from Urban Outfitters. And then this candle from Bath and Body Works. And then I just have my phone, laptop, and iPad. This thing opens up right here and you can charge your stuff. So I just have my iPad charger in here right now. And you can just tuck the charger through the hole right here if you want. And then I have this little organizer thing from Target. I think it was like $6. So in it, I have this notebook. I think this notebook is from Amazon. I have my scissors. I have some mild liners right here. These are from Target. And then I have another set on this side. These ones are pastel though, and they only came in a set of five. These ones are from Walmart, and I would recommend these over these. And then I have a pack of colored pens in here from Walmart too. I have some mechanical pencils, and then a plain black pen. And then I also have my favorite pen, which is my rose quartz pen. And then it just says love and crystals infuse my words. I love this pen so much. It's it's from goddessprovisions.com. My mom got me their subscription box for Christmas and this came in the second box. Again, I'll have their website linked down below. Then I have my hard drive and the wire for it and some post-its. And then I have my AirPods that, oh my gosh, <laughs> that I decorated with these little heart stickers. The stickers are also from Target. Then I have these little pills. These are from Amazon. They're these natural pills that are for stress relief. So I just like to take these whenever I'm feeling like anxious or stressed out or something. Then I have this essential oil. This one is lavender and it's supposed to help you sleep. And then I just have this desk lamp from Target. This mirror is also from Target along with my desk and my desk chair. So basically everything in my room is from Target. Target should just sponsor me at this point. I think the only thing that I forgot to show was my trash can, which is also from Target. I know, shocker. So yeah, I think that is pretty much everything. If you have any questions, make sure to comment them down below. Also super random, but I am selling some stuff on Depop. So if you want to check out my Depop, I will also have that in the description. If you stayed up until this point, Point, comment down below um frog if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe also don't forget to follow me on my socials i've been posting on instagram and tiktok a lot more recently everything will be on the screen or in the description or you can just look up mckenna salazar so yeah with all that being said i hope you guys like today's video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one Bye guys.